What's going on everyone? It's MG the Future. This is stream number two because who wants to place bets on how long it's going to take before YouTube drops the internet connection to my system again? Usually takes us about 50 tries to get one stream to go right. What they say? It takes two to make a thing all right. We don't want those type of beats today. But you know what I'm about. Today we're just streaming on a, on a Tuesday on a November 2nd of 21. That's 11, 12, that's 11 to 21. Do the math on that. That's like a three plus a three or something. Six is a seven day. I don't know. I can't do the numbers on that. Hold on. 11 plus two is 13. Three plus one is four plus 21. No, it's 2021. So plus two, six plus two, eight plus one, nine. That is not right. Well, how do we go from a six day to a nine day? Whatever. I'm not in it to win it. Um, Thank you guys for joining back. We got Ayo Kakondo, Nanye, Lona Boy Beach, K-Bangas, Bobby Rutz. Oh, hey. Smoking on, oh, hey, in the middle of the barn. Smoking on, oh, hey, in the middle of the barn. All right, we need a, a share. Drop a like, drop a like, if you will. That'd be nice. Let's go ahead and pause this. So I'm not using any data in the background. We're going to go live in the background here. We're going to call this part two because that's a joke. We barely got 15 minutes off the ground on the last jump. It's all okay, though. Maybe they want me to clip out all the auto-tune trash talking, because I'm going to delete that first one, because it's 14 minutes. All right, we're going to do part two already. Let's talk about it. All right, we got that popping. The people know. The people who need to know know where to find us. What the hell? So it's cooking with Tech Tight. As a music producer, being powered up by Tech Tight. It's very small. This 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 costs more. This costs more than crack, the same size. So like this this piece of rock is more expensive than crack cocaine. Don't ask me why. But as I was saying, every time I get a piece, I lose it. So I'm not gonna lose it this time. Well, actually, I don't care if I lose it because if if I lose it, I manifest it while it's manifesting. I'm gonna keep it in this little green bag with all the green gems, which are all the heart stones, which are all the. Uh, the portal stones, I call them, because they open up portals. Most of them, when you look up their meetings or their, they call it metaphysical property. So when you're looking up stones and crystals, if you ever go to a crystal shop, a head shop, a, a, a botanical place or herbs and spices place that have crystals, and you see all these cool crystals, just look up on Google metaphysical properties of said crystal. And I notice a lot of the crystals I got are dream crystals. So if you sleep with if you sleep with it within your aura field or within your proximity, um, my dreams have been lit, dog. Since it got here, especially because it just got here. So my dream last night, like I went into dream state three times and it was vivid, vivid. Like I remember everybody and almost everything, almost every place. And I get what my dreams are trying to do to me. So uh, get you one of those if you care about that kind of thing. Jade is really good for dreams. Malachite is really good for dreams. Malachite uh, enhances other crystals, and a, and a Moldavite enhances other crystals. Clear quartz is supposed to be the master crystal, so always keep you a piece of that. And um, yeah, have fun, dog. Especially if you're a creative person. I don't know if it would work on normies, but if you're a creative person that knows how to channel, and if you know how to play chords or hum a beat or chop a sample, you know how to channel. So if you have any inklings of channeling, you would love these crystals and how they affect you mentally. And then, of course, they affect you creatively, which is what we always experience when I'm live. Even when I'm freestyling like this, I'm not premeditating any of this. It just, it seems to help out so much. I want to pull out Electra. I want to start with a chord. We want to make a one chord beat just to warm up. Is that okay? YouTube is a struggle. It won't let me live. King Lemuel says, what are you saying to me, bro? I was just saying, like, you were asking me about my P.O. box to send me something. I'm not situated where I want to be yet. So I'm just acknowledging that I got your message. What? Dion says, I got to get something. Do not drop my internet as soon as I start touching the keyboard, dog. What's up, YouTube? Like, you got something to say? Say it. Thank you. 
like it, but it's annoying. One to four sounds like ass. I ain't gonna hold you. to a seven. What's good, G Brown? And I want a different rhythm. I want a six nine chord because she nasty. Hold up. off of five six nine chords are the fifths of your third so you have to go one five four in your major but whatever i'm doing it like that we're just going to take it easy we're not going to put no pressure no pressure don't let the tech type talk to me. Let's talk about it. Okay, one seventy-three is one seventy-six. One forty-six. I'm sorry. We're gonna do one forty-six on the humble record. Go. I don't like that it landed on that. And I'm tired of using C minor, so I'm going to. Uh, oh. I need more, I need more, I need more table room. Brother, uh, shorten you. Brother, can you shorten? You know what, I might just do this in all white keys because I can't stand you niggas. Uh-huh. You'll get it eventually. That was funny, that was one of my best works. All right, so we wanna do uh Moving down to A minor for the culture. Back in business, baby. What's good, MoFax? What's good, Killer Nuts? What's good, SLPB boy? G Brown. Haru says, Haru says, I think my beats. Haru said, I think my beats may have got better after I got crystals. You might be right, dog. It's a cheat code. If you know, you know. I'm gonna show y'all some cool shit. Like, I'm gonna go OD. I'm gonna go OD on this. Um, in such an ugly way, I'm gonna go OD for this. I'm gonna go OD on this for no reason. Because I see people do it, but I don't think they, I think they be lying. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Because they're lying. They act like they play it like that. They don't play it like that. You'll understand what I mean in one second. I need to receive from port one, channel one. Uh, input port. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is my MIDI out is still talking to Electra, so I'm going to copy and paste that melody to a MIDI out, which is nothing by itself. But now I can move this up an octave and play and see the lower octave chords in the background on Electra. This is a higher octave. And what niggas be doing is like you notice like sometimes you'll see people post on Twitter or Instagram, they'll have like three octave chords or three octave piano medleys. And I'm like, the fuck is you doing, dog? But then I thought it's cool, it's a cool thing. The kids like to see it, whatever. But to do it, don't do it all in one thing because you want each layer or each octave to do something different. So this one I'm going to invert a little bit and let these top notes be the top notes on the high end. And then we can go into the matrix and hit these niggas with the strum. Like, ooh, how he do that? You just hit him with the strum real quick. And I mean like a strum strum. Like... You 
You see where I'm going with it? And then you can turn the velocity down. You can ramp the velocity down. Um, there's this modifier called uh, limit, I think. Limit will do it. Randomize will do it too. But no, no nigga. Randomize for sure does it. You can randomize the velocity. But there's another one that just turned uh, scale, I think. Scale levels, nigga. There we go. We're going to turn. So we'll multiply. We're just going to turn these down a little bit. It's still too loud at that velocity. This VST is bugging. This VST is trying to have us messed up in the game. And it's cool. We're going to do one more, though. We're going to go to the top. Same thing. We're going to copy this one, though. We're not, we're not using none of the strums. We're not doing none of that. And now we can take this one to the top. And um, you can invert it again if you want to. I don't recommend it. You know, whatever. Um, and then we can arpeggiate it. I wish the velocity and the volume were married. And I'm using all one Electra. My mind wanted me to use three different Electras to do the same thing, but then that'll kill your CPU. So that's why I use MIDI out. But for the sake of the volume, I should have used three different Electras and used volume to turn it down. Or this patch isn't, uh, the, the programmer of this patch may not be velocity sensitive too. That's another thing. Niggas might not have key velocity, which is right, bitch, nigga. Right, right here. And then my internet connection is dropping again. Come on, YouTube. Let me be great in these streets. Right here somewhere. Key under... Uh, this is the filter section. Key on is what it's called. But don't get me to lying like I have synthesizers that I program. Anyway, so um, we'll keep going. Classic Metro, they call it. know how I feel about it like bitch I might you feel me like I come through that boy MG come through boom and the lights go out that's crazy like that feel that feels like video game music but way cooler let's go way cooler than that and EQ is gonna be our best friend in this shit I'm not appreciating it being distorted. Like, who made this effect, nigga? What are you doing? That was unnecessary. And I need a, I need a high pass it before it go down, before it goes into the DM or into the HT. Fab filter. F, please. Thank you, Sam. We're going to high cut it into the effect. And we're going to high cut it again or pull ticket after the effect. Almost music to my ears. Mm -hmm. What's good, Michael Heath? I'm about to go through this. Hold up. What, I'm going to try this two final effect. It just stood out to me on some spiritual shit. I don't hear nothing. It's like a two. to put the illicit reverbs on it i don't have the illicit yeah i do nigga you almost caught me slipping i got knee over let's not be in cute out here we're gonna do realistic too we're gonna do realistic too we don't do no we're 
gonna do dramatic in this bitch. Small dramatic. Hey, Deshaun J, I see you. What's good, Arcane? Get these likes up for MJ. I want to catch a replay. What's good, Iceberg? DJ Goma. So Rebel in the building. I see you. Haru. G Brown. Mo Facts. Billy Batson. A 90s a New York City 80s freestyle club joint. Oh, you, you're trying to get me to be like a. Be your love to me. Yeah, I feel that. Oh. This is just fire, though. The right sounds and the right piano roll etiquette make anyone sound like they know what they're doing, including myself. I need a compressor. I need a good compressor. I don't need a compressor. I need to buckle down and buy L1. I need to buy L1. I haven't bought L1 yet. I'm fucking bugged out. Why don't I have L1? I want EQ first, then I'm going to L1 it. Because we don't need all that mid-range at all. I kind of want to boost the high end. We don't hear that too much no more. Like the 10K. This is an eight. It's going to be up there with the hi-hats. It's okay. We'll live. See how it like, is above my ears now? We got the pulse of that chord, which would have been good for the compressor. All right, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not even going to turn. Yeah, I am. I'm lying. I'm going to negative 15. The hardest thing about these type of beats is finding, so I hear the rhythm. So I'm going to show you guys something that most people don't pay attention to. I think I've described this before, but I want you to be able to see it. Um, this is so critical, hypercritical beat theory or advanced nigga theory, if you will. Science is acting like the niggas and niggas is acting like scientists. We're going through a flip flop. But the science of this is very simple. I just want you to be able to visualize it. So when you hear it, you're like, oh, does Super Mario have good drums? We're going to pray. We're going to pray he has good drums. All right, cool. Real quick. When you're making beats, not only do you have uh, your three main octaves, so C3, C2, C4, and you can go from C1 to C5, depending on how many different layers you have. So the rule number one of Fight Club is try to get every sound in its own octave. And I know what you're asking. MG, may you please go to the whiteboard for this so I can see it. And I know those of you driving can't see it. It's okay. You don't really have to see it. It's not that big of a deal. But I'm inspired to deal with it this way so that you can, you can make technically perfect production. Notice I said technically perfect. It has nothing to do with feeling or how it sounds. Everything to do, this is a logistical exercise that I used to do. And I didn't, I thought about, I think about it all the time, but I don't stick to it. I'm fucking retarded sometimes. Anyway, so pretend this is like your MIDI controller or the piano roll. It'd be cool if I downloaded a actual shit. Anyway, y'all bear with me. These are going to be the C ranges or whatever. So you got the fucking keys. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, cool. So this is like C3 range, C4 range, C2 range. And what ends up, what ends up happening is, oh, did you drop my internet too? The bitch went to zero for no reason. I'm doing science here. Let me know if I'm still live. I should be still live. It went to zero and then went back up. I'm here. I don't even use the big white uh, bricks anymore. 
You got the champion kicks. Only true drum kits I use for trap drums. Yeah, I use those too. I use quite a few different ones though, for different reasons. Especially when it comes to mixing stuff. You kind of want someone who processes all their drums so it's they're on the same envelope, but whatever. Sonable Smart Comp seems to be pretty good. PJ, thank you, PJ. I remember Sonable. I actually did a Sonable EQ review, didn't I? Young Kilo, what's good with you? Only Defunk, what's good? Only Defunk's driving. Aaron Strickling says I'm still here. B-Boy says I'm still here. FL Studio should win Doll the past two decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like all the dolls too, but this one is simple. So anyway, typically, your melody is going to be up here in this bitch. The higher your melody is without being too high, it seems the more standard that is because on the low ski, the human voice is going to be overlapping C3 and C4 in theory. Rappers tend to have a lower register voice than the sample or the melody. So I'm just drawing this for you so you can see it intellectually and go, okay, so if I start with my sample and melody, just find out what EQ range it's in, really. You can actually see it. Like on FabFilter, you can see what range it's in, the overlapping range, right here at the bottom. You see what I'm talking about? Right now, I'm doing a, a high cut where the melody begins. So the lowest key of this melody, if we can move this away, Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, whatever. So you see right here, that's where my lowest chord is. And it tells you it's in the G3, G sharp three. And where dancing is, if we click on it, up to the A6 range. So my melody at its lowest point is at the C3 range at its highest point is at the C6 range. But doesn't that make sense? Because when we were creating this melody, we were in here using up three different octaves. So C3, C4, C5, technically C6, because it's at the end of three and at the end of five. So we could, we could visually see it in the piano roll where our range is, and we can see it on the EQ where our range is, and that's the trick. That's very important to understand, like your piano roll and your EQ are intimately related. Wherever the notes are on the piano roll, if the VSC is one-to-one, -one, meaning if C3 on Fruity Loops is the C3 signal or tone in your synthesizer, and making sure that's true is half the battle, because fuck it. But if you can't do that, look at your EQ, and your EQ will tell you, because that's what you're EQing. You're EQing frequency, not sound. Anyway, that's just, pay attention to that. Um, as you evolve as a producer and a mix engineer, just knowing that, like, I know that's a simple aha thing, but, like, it's a big fucking deal. When it comes to people who mix records, when it comes to like making beats for specific artists, because think about it, artists rap as they hear something. When they're listening to your music, if they can't hear a space for their voice, nine times out of 10, they're going to skip your beat. And you got to think about that. Why do rappers like simple beats so much? Because simple beats might have one sound and the rest is bass and drums. And that one sound is like C4, C5, meaning C2, C2 to C5 is all empty. And that's where they hear the words. That's where they hear the voice. So you can intentionally create from that mind state. Like, yo, this bitch, <laughs> he sings in D3. So when I do my chords, I'm going to be in the key of D, but I'm going to start on D4 with my piano. And put nothing there besides drums, maybe. And then put the bass at D2 or D1. And just leave that whole space kind of blank. You know, sparkle with shit, but nothing blank. That's so important to know. So you have bass down here, and you have drums that overlap, you know, drums from the kick to the i-hat will overlap the whole spectrum. And then mostly when you EQ against that, you could damn near sacrifice everything that's not drums. And what I mean by that is, like, if your hi-hat is up here overlapping something in 10K, you can cut 10K out of that something and just let the hi-hat live in that frequency, dominant, be dominant in that frequency. And of course, when you change the levels and stuff, that also affected panning will help you a lot too. So you don't necessarily have to sacrifice if you can pan something opposite of each other in the same overlapping region. Um, Ableton and other EQs have mid side EQs where you can like EQ the fat filter does too. I just never turn it on, but you can EQ the mids and the side separately. It's really cool. And that's why they create those because um, you get into sacrificing. You'd be like, well, if I cut out 10 K out of the mid and the side, that's stupid. I really just need to cut out 10K out the side because that's where my hi-hat is panned. That's what this shit is all about. It's about making sure everyone is represented across the keyboard if you're a producer. 
It's making sure everyone is represented across the, the spectrum if you're an engineer. But it's the same shit. It's just two different languages for the same thing. Cool. So when you're creating a beat, if you start on C4, then you're like, ah, this beat is fucking missing something. Yes. It's missing at least two other octaves. If you're already starting high, then go down low. So the next thing we should do logically is bass. The bass down to C2, C1 should marry that melody up top. And then the only thing missing in the middle is going to be the rapper, of course, or the drums. And then you're halfway there. And I'm just telling you to be intentional about that so it makes your mixing easier because you're going to pick sounds or play sounds in the appropriate octave before you even get to why is this sound so cluttered. And then also it'll stop you from adding too much in one range because you'll be like, I got a melody here, I got a melody here, I got a melody here. No, nigga, the human ear is only going to pick up one of them. The producer ear might pick up on all of them, but the human ear, the regular nigga ear is going to pick up one of them. So just pick one. And hopefully that makes sense. Now, not only do you have the range to fucking worry about, you have the uh, the rhythm of each range. So, I give you an example. Most niggas do hi-hats like this, right? Straight, straight two hats. If that's doing that at C4, C5, you don't want that same frequency or, yeah, like not frequency as in spectrum, but frequency as in rate of speed on the other ranges. So, I'm going to clone the same hi-hat and I'll be like, well, this time... And so we're gonna name them too. We'll be like, this is C4. That, it should be C4. Some bitch. And this is uh, renamed C2. Nigga what? What is that? Give me a fucking break. Here we go, all right. So C4 is gonna be faster because it's faster, more frequent. Higher range, right? Higher in the higher in your ear range. Anything that's fast, if it goes too fast, if you ever fucked with a real oscillator, you notice like the higher you turn the pitch, the faster the fucking pitch is running. It goes, zzz, zzz, zzz. and then it just sounds like a fucking laser beam. That's because it's, its frequency is fast in terms of its pitch too. So speed and pitch and frequency are all in the same vocabulary. So this is layer three. The first layer was spectrum. The other layer was fucking how it looks on the keyboard, and the third layer is how it sounds, how fast it sounds. So you want to have patterns like this. So in your high range, shit will be fast, high hats. The next range, shit is going to be, you know, quarterly. At a lower range, it's going to slow down. And if you go even lower, you might just do one every bar or so, right? So I'm going to turn these down respectively. And you're going to hear all of them just fine. And you pan them. Your ear can find all three sounds. This is more pronounced, though, when they're different sounds. And, of course, you turn certain things down. We'll paint these opposite of each other. So now you have the, the bounce. Think about that. that. It's bouncing. The whole thing is bouncing. But there's no shuffle. There's no shifting. There's no nudging. The only fucking thing causing the bounce is that these three elements are all playing in their, the, every percussion is in its own fucking lane. So if you like listen to trap beats to have heavy percussion or heavy bounce, and you're listening to one element, you'll be like, well, that hat's just going. Yeah, but it has two, at least two other sounds that are playing with it, pause, rhythmically, but in a different, different rate of rhythm, not just a different rhythm, a different rate of speed. And that difference, your ear listening to those different fucking rates of speed is what causes the bounce. And motherfucking turn red again. And you cut the shit. Anyway, I'm just putting you on to it, right? It's really cool. It's a really cool thing to, to be mindful of, to be intentional about. Just like Jakey Wakey said. He said, I knew this, but I needed to hear it again. Thank you, MG. No problem. Jones got music. Salute. DJ Shaw. Salute. Neon says, between those and croups and breaks and kids sampling, I'm sure I don't need no more drums. I'm going to delete my old drums. Yeah, 2020. Well, I can, I can Zulu and process my own drums and just use that folder for a whole run. I just haven't figured out which direction I'm running yet. But I'm with you, Dion. That's a smart idea. What you talking about? Well, there's King Crates in the building. Nato's in the building. Elite TV says, why are plugins so expensive? Uh, so they can make some money, King. Uh, and it's a market thing. It's what people are willing to pay for. It's to compensate for piracy. You know the whole fucking vibe. 
So instead of selling one plug into one nigga, they know like 20 of y'all are going to pirate it. So they charge one nigga 20 times the amount it should be. That's y'all fault. Anyway, that's another story for another day. So my melody is way up top. So my bass got to be down low. Like a T-Pain's, not T-Pain, a T-I song. I want my beast 